If I've heard it one time, I've heard it a thousand times. Oh, there isn't anything to do in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of it. And no, this isn't New York City. It's not San Francisco. This isn't some massive city with just oodles of things that you could fall out of your front door and be entertained for the rest of your life. But I gotta be honest, like, don't you have a job? Like, don't you, do you have a family? Like, do you have any, like, commitments of things that you have to do? Like, I just don't find it being really that hard to be busy and entertained and enjoy my time in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And so today, I put together a list of 10 categories of things that I think you could do to enjoy and be entertained and have a great experience in Green Bay, Wisconsin, to kind of attack this myth of, oh, it's so boring and there's nothing to do. Okay, let's go look at these categories and then tell me what you think in the comments below. Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Guywitz. Welcome back to another episode of Living in Green Bay. Like I said in the opener, we are talking about 10 different categories of things that you could do in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Like I said, I really do think there are oppor opportunities and things for you to be a part of in the community. Green Bay does not have to live up to that myth of, oh, there's nothing to do in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I'll tell you this, as a local real estate agent, I am compelled and motivated by finding solutions to problems, not just wallowing and being disappointed by what I perceive to be the reality. I want to help find solutions in my business, and I want to help you find solutions as somebody who's looking to live in Green Bay. So here's my list. Consider this my first attempt at solutions to the problem of there's nothing to do in Green Bay. We'll have some fun, take a look at these, and there will be, I'm sure, plenty of things not on this list that you would want to share in addition. So make sure to mention those in the comments below. Let's make this the biggest and best list of things people could do in Green Bay, Wisconsin, so everyone has a resource to be entertained, enjoy Green Bay, and just make the most of this community that we are a part of. As we jump into this list of the you know, 10 kind of categories of things that you could do to entertain yourself in Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, some of these obviously will have a weather or seasonal element to them. Green Bay has all four seasons. We've got the hot, we've got the freezing cold, and we've got everything in between. And so, you know, take that into consideration. Some of these won't always apply in every season. And that's one of the things people hate is they feel like in the winter they have nothing to do. The good thing is that in this list, there will be things you can do in the winter in Green Bay, Wisconsin and it doesn't have to just be football. And with that being said, the first thing on our list of the 10 things is actually the farmer's markets in Green Bay, Wisconsin. These are some of the best farmer's markets that I have ever been a part of, and that is anywhere that I've ever been whether it's in the state or out of the state. Green Bay's farmer's markets are not just some old farmer's rusty truck backed up to the side of the road with like corn pouring out of it, okay? There is a lot more to these. Yes, there is the farm goods and you know the produce, the meat, all of that stuff, which you gotta have at a farmer's market. But these things go over the top when it comes to other entertainment values. We're talking food trucks. I mean, it's practically like food court kind of stuff. There's so much stuff to enjoy food-wise. There's um, other goods that are being sold, you know, art and other design goods, as well as the farm goods that uh, they're always at a farmer's market. So these are absolutely worth checking out. There's actually seven different farmer's markets in the Green Bay area. And I'll uh, put them all up here on the screen so you can see a list of them because there's so many of them I can't even like list them all off. 
So there's five farmers markets during the summer months of the year, and those are all over the place and at different times throughout the year. So you've got farmer's market on Saturday, you've got a farmer's market on Wednesday night, and they all have a little bit of different flair as well. You've got the Saturday farmer's market, like I said, which is in the morning, and uh, I love to get a, you know, a cup of coffee and just kind of stroll around leisurely and enjoy the slower pace of that. There's the farmer's market on Wednesday night, which is a little more upbeat in my opinion, and um, yeah, it just brings a lot of energy and fun and a great place to grab dinner and look at all the cool stuff that's out and about in the farmer's market. Like I said though, there's seven farmer's markets and that leaves two more, which are the winter farmer's markets. Those are done inside as you might imagine and offer different goods and things for sale throughout the winter as well. So you could definitely take advantage of those indoor winter farmer's markets. And I feel like you might already assume that there, this list is extensive and there's a lot of detail to it. So if you want to see the full list of all of these different details, I will put it all in the description below for you to check out and kind of maybe build your plan for the things you're going to do throughout the year. Number two, on our list is actually the 146 different parks that you could go check out in the Green Bay metro area. Green Bay on its own as a city has 57 parks, one nature area, and then 15 other green ways that vary in different characteristics and stuff like that. So just in Green Bay, you have like freaking 60 options to go check out. Go to a hammock, go play, go walk around, look around at this stuff. It's loaded with opportunity all over the city in the parks in Green Bay. De Pere, just you know, on the south of Green Bay has 26 parks. They boast over 400 acres of land dedicated to these parks. Ashwaubenon actually has 20 parks on their own. Howard has 23 parks on their own. Suamico has 10 parks on their own. These parks are amazing. I mean, they're talking about all sorts of different amenities. Let's, you know, just look at some of these for a second. We're talking about playgrounds, trails, benches, disc golf, soccer fields, courts for basketball, pickleball, pickleball, tennis, volleyball, boat launches for my fishing people and my swimming and boating people. You got the boat launches, docks, conservancies that you can learn more about the environment and a ton of other things. You don't want to miss out on this stuff. There's 146 of these in the Green Bay area. Check them out. The next thing on our list is the museums that are in the Green Bay area. Did you know that there's 10, yeah, 10 different museums that you could go check out in the Green Bay area to learn more about not just Green Bay and the history of this area, but also tons of traveling exhibits and things that come through these museums. So you need to follow along with some of their pages to get that information and uh, really find cool things that you could learn about and enjoy at these museums. Let me just run down this list for you so you know that I'm not lying when I say there's 10 of these. So Green Bay's museums include the Neville Public Museum, Green Bay's Children's Museum, the Heritage Hill, the Packers Hall of Fame, the National Railroad Museum, the Automobile Gallery, Hazelwood Historic House and Museum, a Schwabenon Historical Society and Museum, the Oneida Nation Museum, and the Art Garage. These are all museums and exhibits you can check out and you know learn so much. And like I said, they cycle through different stuff. So there's always new things showing up at these museums to go and check out. So it's kind of like an ever green, ever enjoyable opportunity for you. Number four on our list, and I bet you've been waiting for me to say this one, is the sports entertainment that you can get in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And don't roll your eyes at me, it's not just the Green Bay Packers, though that's really fun 
and you know, cool to entertain yourself and enjoy all that goes with that. So let's talk about ones that aren't the Green Bay Packers for a second here. We've got the Green Bay Booyah, the Blizzard, which is another you know, football team. We've got the Gamblers, hockey. We've got all of the college athletics from the Green Bay Phoenix. We've got the college athletics from St. Norbert as well. So there is all sorts of different sports that are encompassed in both the professional, semi-professional, and collegiate level athletics. So, you know, find those calendars and go to a game. Enjoy that. Take your friends, grab a drink and some snacks and enjoy sports and all of the, you know, parts that go along with these events. Number five on our list is actually the local cuisine here in Green Bay. And there's a lot of restaurants that specialize in different kinds of food and culinary specialties. And uh, there's some cool ones local to Green Bay. That includes having a bowl of Booyah. If you don't know what that is, check it out at different restaurants around town. Otherwise, we love our fish fries here in Wisconsin as well. And then in addition to that, there's food trucks and other types of cool local cuisine that you can hit up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Number six on our list is the water in Green Bay and all the things that you can do on it. We're talking fishing, boating, kayaking, swimming, water skiing, paddle boarding, whatever things you can think of that you could do on the water, Green Bay has plenty of it. Heck, just sit on the shore and look at the water. It's got amazing sunsets. It's a great and awesome way to enjoy and entertain yourself in Green Bay, Wisconsin. If you go a little bit to the east, go to the larger part of Lake Michigan even and enjoy that as well. So many opportunities when it comes to water. And if you find yourself being a brave soul, you can come along with me in the winter and we'll go fishing in the winter on this very same water. So it's not just a one time, one season fits all thing. Come with me in the winter, we'll go catch some fish through the ice. So number seven on this list is practically its own video entirely. Funny enough, I've actually made a beginning video to introduce you to it, and that's Door County. Go the 45 minutes, go the hour, go the hour and a half up the peninsula of Door County in, within, you know, just northeast of Green Bay, Wisconsin, and enjoy all that that has. You can go up there and come back in the same day. Heck, I've had a lot of people comment on videos saying their commute takes two hours from one part of the city where they work to the other part where they live. So if you can commute two hours where you live now, if you live in Green Bay, you could go anywhere in Door County and come back and enjoy all that that has as a vacation destination and as just a you know seasonal thing where you go up and just enjoy one thing here or there and come back. So Door County is a great option for entertainment if you live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Okay, another thing on our list, let's talk about downtown Green Bay, more specifically the city deck in Green Bay. This offers all sorts of different entertainment options from the coordinated events like Fridays on the Fox or dining on the deck, those kind of options, to the restaurants that line the sides of the river along the river walk and then what turns into the Fox River Trail. And so you've got biking, you've got walking trails, there's a splash pad to you know let the kids get wet and have fun that way. There's a lot of opportunity right on City Deck and in the areas going out from there for you to have fun and enjoy in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Fun fact, let's hope that someday we get to enjoy it again in the dead of winter because we have a pretty good time celebrating Packers Super Bowls when those happen as well. So City Deck in the winter, let's say, you know, end of February, middle of February, we'll, we'll meet down there and celebrate a Packers Super Bowl maybe. Next on our list is the three college and universities that exist in the Green Bay area. Now, the reason I bring those up isn't just because of the higher education elements that they provide for you, which could be a form of entertainment in themselves. 
higher learning and continuing to grow is a great way to entertain yourself and make yourself a better person. But in addition to that, they offer things like fine arts, sports entertainment. UW Green Bay has a huge arboretum, so you have outdoor opportunities with miles of trails and all sorts of cool things that way. And it just really provides you more to the community. There's even food options that exist there. Then you could, you know, maybe just assume at face value. So check out these universities for opportunities as a community member to be a part of them, to enjoy and have fun utilizing the different resources that they provide. Last but not least is the different breweries, wineries, and distilleries that Green Bay has. Last I checked, they have eight breweries, three wineries, and one distillery for you to go check out. Now, again, all of these have a little bit of different flavor or different focuses, just depending on who the brewmasters are or you know what the business model is. So you can enjoy kind of each of these throughout the year at different times to you know learn more about these unique designs and creations that they are making at these different places and take in just the whole atmosphere of these different places because they offer tours, many of them offer food and uh, drinking opportunities right in house there. So make sure to check those out and learn more about this culture and um, the creative style of it and the unique flavors and things that exist in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area because of the locally sourced goods and just creative minds of the brewers themselves. So make sure to check those out as well. So there you have it. That's 10 different categories of things that you could use to entertain yourself and have fun in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I know, I know that I missed some. So if you have ideas or you know other things that I didn't mention, please put them in the comment section below. Like I said in the opener, let's make this the most exhaustive list we can of things that you can do in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And if you just hate it all, whatever, that is what it is. Now you know what Green Bay has to offer and you can decide if it's something you would like to you know, be a part of as a person in the community. If you are moving to the community, like I said, make sure to hit me up. My contact info is in the description below. If this video gave you value, helped you think, or you know, enjoy Green Bay more, give me that thumbs up, please. Give the video the thumbs up so that it can rank and be shared with more people. I would really appreciate that, and it'd be an awesome way to give some value back to the channel. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already to be a part of the Living in Green Bay community and get notifications when new content comes out. I have been working super hard on a few different videos that I'm looking forward to releasing here in the near future. And uh, yeah, I just don't want you to miss them. So make sure to do that. Thanks again for watching. My name is Andrew Guywitz. I'm your local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area and your host of Living in Green Bay. I can't wait to provide you guys more content and things to come. So thanks again for watching and we will see you again on another video of Living in Green Bay.